these guys travel with me an awful lot. And I, I tend to use this kind of size quite a bit. They do change a little bit. This is that, but this way. So there's, there's, this is portraits that I'm working on at the moment. And, and this is mostly landscape that I do work in. And um, when I go out sketching and drawing, I have a rucksack full of kit. <laughs> Sketchbook fits the rucksack. This is partly why it's this size. It's practicality wise. And um, they are, as I mentioned when you first came in, these are my visual diaries. So I can flick through them and I can say, oh yeah, oh look, yeah, I was at Findhorn. I was at the Murray Coast. That was last year during my caravan trip, for example. And um, it's, it's a case of, I think, with the reason why I've maintained the sketching so much and why they've ended up being developed into such a key component in relation to my work is because there's just a sheer loss of inhibition in these books. And I think that's what I, there's, a, there's some sort of connection that I have in that, that, that inhib inhibition. And I've tried, in terms of, of what I do with my sketchbooks, I've tried to mirror this with, with my work in these. And the connection with this to this is, to me, so important. So, for example, if I flick, and it's the big depth of field, it's called depth of field, the biggest painting just there behind you, this one here, stems simply from this sketch. Okay, so I hope you can see there's, there is vaguely a relationship there. Um, this is obviously, this was done directly from the scene. And uh, I had, um, I was asked to do a commission last year and I had three months to do this commission. And the request was two paintings. I actually ended up doing 18. I did a whole collection <laughs> <laughs> of work. Oops. <laughs> and uh, I did hand over the entire 18 works to the client. And it was just simply because I wanted to give them choice. And also because the scene inspired me so much. It was just stunning. Um, and this scene was, um, it, it was a, there's a, a whole battery of works from this this one day you know so what I'll do is I'll, I'll go out into the landscape with my sketchbook with my kit and um, the sketchbooks also act as a warm-up to doing these guys this is a, another one this is actually a different day but it's in the same area and um, yes and yes and yes <laughs> and yes <laughs> They are, uh, it's when, so in my, uh, so to explain it a bit further, in um, my, my kit of stuff, there's another one, again, of a similar kind of lighter type feeling. In my kit of stuff, what I do is I, I work always in mixed media. And the reason why is, is another one. This is, this is really close to where I live. It's uh, just outside a village called Stanley, on the way to another village called Erntully. And uh, where I live is just beautifully open. And I absolutely, absolutely adore that. So in this sketch, we have got pastels, um, a querel pencils, which are, it's the types of pencil you can use in water, or they become effectively watercolour. There's graphite, there's chalks, um, ink, there's watercolours as well. Now that sounds like a huge amount of mediums. Um, it's not. So what I tend to do is I, I tend to pick maybe just, just a few pastels. I may only use Payne's Grey, Windsor & Newton Payne's Grey. I'll have one big pot of it with me and I'll have one pre-mixed. I always have a wee pot of ink that I've mixed up and it tends to be always a, always ends up being a tealy, indigo-y colour. And it's just, you know, one of the colours I, I just summer. Yes, yeah, yes. <laughs> and I'll explain about this colour in particular in a moment. And I just, oh, I don't know. I just, I find sticking for me with one medium just doesn't do it for me. 
I just love the build-up of layers and the richness that I can gain from all of these. You know, they each have their own unique individual qualities that I I pick up on, and I use them in my own peculiar way.